cool. So we have um, our next talk. But uh, before that, Alex was suffering, suffering from uh, some, uh, you know, tiredness from yesterday. <laughs> and the thing is, a lot of you go to him and say like, oh, let me buy you a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and th this went on for a while yesterday, and now he's suffering some kind yeah. of a next uh, hangover, something yeah, like this. kind of. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's great, but just keep him, you know, <laughs> sane. So I'm going to do the same that we did earlier, just to wake him up a little bit. So I'm going to start like before. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Nice. <laughs> With you, it's, I leave you to you, Alex. Thank you, Jer. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here and uh, talk about uh, Next.js. Uh, but first of all, uh, who have already heard about Next.js or using it here? Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's the first time I'm talk thinking, uh, talking about uh, in front of so many users of Next, Next right now, so a little bit stressed. Uh, OK, so I'm going to explain uh, the main philosophy uh, of Next.js, which is speed up your Vue.js development time and make it more enjoyable. So let's introduce myself. I'm one of the Chopin brothers, Next brothers. So I'm Alex. Uh, and I'm also a Vue.js developer. So I'm happy to reply if you have any question on Twitter. And uh, I'm also got a startup with my brother called Orion. And uh, we got some surprise for the community for this year coming. So the rest of uh, the Nux brothers, why? Well, first of all, uh, it was my real brother, Sebastian. And uh, during the last year, we got uh, another contributors who create a fancy functionality called modules in Next.js called Puria Parser. And by the end of the last year, we got also Clark Du, who helping us a lot with all this issue and all the contributors. So let's have a quick recap of uh, history of Next. We start Next. Uh, in uh, 2016, in October, we got our first public release in November. Then it was a lot of work to do before the 1.0, not because it wasn't stable, but just because we want to have the perfect production-ready tools. So, yeah, we announced in January 2017 the V1, but it takes one more year to release it. So. Finally, we did it one month ago, and we are very proud by the work done by all the contributors. Thank you. And today, we have speeded up a little bit of development, and it's V1.3 already. So we got more statistics about uh, this growing up, and since for more than one year, we almost got the 10,000 star on GitHub. So thanks, all of you, for supporting us. They translate all the community, the documentation website in seven languages now, uh, even in French. Uh, it wasn't me. I'm a French guy, and I never got time to translate it in French. It was a Switzerland guy, so thanks to this guy. And uh, last month, we got, we reached uh, 115,000 uh, NPM downloads in one month. So that's huge. So thanks for all these stats. So during all this uh, year, we couldn't really explain what was our project because we got this ID one year ago, but it was an ID for just for our use cases. It was for our website, we want to implement the server-side rendering. At this time, there wasn't so much documentation. There wasn't so the SSL documentation of you. It was only the Acre News example created by Evan. So we go deep into the code and create this project just for us, but after a couple of months, we have seen a lot of people enjoying it. And 
since then, we add a lot of functionality, way much more than we expected before. And today, if I have to define what is Node.js, I think it's a framework for Vue.js developers. Vue.js ecosystem is huge. A lot of resources are available yet, and more are published every day. So the goal of Nux is to spend less time on configuration and more time on enjoyable coding view projects. So if you are like me, and you prefer enjoy coding .view files and enjoy all the ecosystem, maybe you are Nux too. Um, <clears throat> so let's go deep in details for the code base. What we need to install and configure on every proj project who wants to be server-side rendering with Vue, it's a Node.js server. But also with the Vue.js library and the Vue server render uh, modules. Sorry. Then we need to set up a routing system for a web app. So we also need as a dependency the Vue router for the, for the routing, but also Vue meta for the meta tags and the CEO is required for Vue web apps. And if we need to build a large scale application, we also can have a need of Vue.js for the store. Uh, Vue.x for the store, sorry. So stressed. <laughs> uh, as a developer, we have to be aware of our code optimization, uh, but also use all the Vue.js uh, features as much as possible to optimize or enjoy and enjoy more of our code. So we also need to install and configure Webpack and Bubble to, to do all the stuff like code splitting, odd module replacement, use ES6 to async await data, and uh, way much more, like using .view files. All the things are great with Vue. We need to preset all this stuff as a require to have a Vue.js server-side render project. So this I'm going to be explaining in more detail by my brother this afternoon, so I will let this part for him. And, but what is really important to understand is that this stack is the base of Next. And then we're going to add functionality, but this is the base. So basically, you can rebuild Next with that and add your own functionality. So one of the most important core functionality was the router, like I said before, we need for web application to have a router system. And if you check out the SSL documentation, you will see that we get the code splitting on every page because we render every page as a component, so we get fetch data and things like that. But we next we decide to implement it as a core functionality. When you create a file in the page folder, it creates automatically a routing, uh, the router files with the routes and do a code splitting, import it, and etc. All the configuration is done just by adding a simple .view file in your page folder. So for us, it was very important, this module, because it was the base foundation of our philosophy, how to simplify things that we do every day. So we got also the same functionality with the store. With uh, the FS store, you add a lot of files in your store folder, and it creates module and linked together, so you get the store with modules. As I explained, routing is very important into Next. It's a core functionality. So we have to add functionality as in the page components to link the client side and the server side. If you want to fetch data, you need to have some functionality like async data. But also, if you want to use the store fetch, and I think everybody knows now all these functionalities, so I will not spend so much time, but that was a, like, the most common question we get with Next. It's why I cannot use this functionality in the component, classic component? Why is it required to be used in the page component? It's due to the router system. We are stuck with that. We cannot do all the things because if you read the SSL documentation by view, 
its code splitting with page, and code has to be rendered from the server side only on the page components. So that's why. <coughs> then during the last uh, couple of months, that's the new functionality we developed. Uh, an internal API, so now people get access to the new JS uh, uh, lifecycle. So we get hooks with an internal API. You can customize the behavior and adding some functionality with the file system, with database or all the stuff, you can now have access inside the core system. The configuration has been uh, improved with uh, more functionality to be more flexible with uh, our dependency, like Webpack or Bubble. Components, we have our custom components who reproduce the behavior like Nux child, it's, it's view router. Um, we got also Nux link, it's just a router link, but we create a new component called no SSR. So it, when you want to hide some parts of your code and doesn't render it on the server side, you can, inc inc um, you can put your code inside these components, no SSR. We also got a global option um, called Programmatically that you can use Next uh, with your server, like Express or things like that, and have access to uh, as a constructor and uh, give him to option and other stuff. So you can start migrating to existing projects and your layers to Next and Vue just with your code inside your Express routing. And the last thing uh, last year was um, we start with the universal uh, mode, which is basically your Vue.js project is server side rendered. But some users say, oh, I really like how you simplify the development and speed of the time. So it could be nice to also have a SPA mode because uh, I'd want to use the same philosophy about page and and all the no configuration system you made, but for an admin system, for example, so I don't need SEO and I don't need to be server render. So we developed also this new mode, ASPA, for, for single page application. So it was a lot of work, but I'm happy we have done it uh, before the V1. And we also get the generated since uh, the beginning for several less uh, options. So you, it generates your file into HTML static files. So we are proud now to have the three different uh, projection modes. So it depends on what you need and what you're going to do. So if you need a server, a server, you get the universal mode. If you don't want uh, to use a server and it just gets SPA mode and uh, host it on a CDN, you get the SPA mode. And if you want to get some S0, but at less, you can use a generate mode. So now let's go to the demo. Yes. <clears throat> so it's a quick demo about uh, how easy it is to link an API with a Nuxjs project, and you can scaffold any project and uh, keep your API and just redesign everything. Uh, we get plenty of examples on uh, the GitHub repository. Some uh, of contributors have done some uh, WordPress um, integration, Joomla or stuff like that. They transform their current website into an API and then recreate everything with Next. So for this example, we have done uh, almost the same. We get an API, uh, which is connected with GitHub, and uh, this is real stats. So it's connected with the Vue.js uh, repository. So you get the stats from contributors, um, and so you can see the first one is Evanu, of course. <laughs> when you click, you get his stats in detail, so number of commit, number of issue, and number of comments. And at least all the contributors. So we got, uh, after the conference, we got a link. So if you want to check up uh, the source code. 
but for now, it's very easy to explain. We just need a router, so for that, we create an index.view page. We will be our listing page, this one. We use, like I explained, ASIC data to fetch our data from the server side and render it before the route. So we got our own API. So we use it with async data. You can see get contributors. And we return it. With this, we also use, need to use the other functionality called add for the CEO and change the title. And yeah, that's a quick example of doing a list. But the most important thing is about architecture, how we made it so easy. The dependency <coughs> is just this. We got Next, and we got some modules since the last year. So with the modules, we have a famous modules for Ixius, who do all your configuration you need. So it injects all the, behavior, uh, all the library of Ixius everywhere in your application, on the page component, into the store. So you can get it from the context here, and then use it directly into your function, your page component functionality. So that's great shortcuts, and it allows you to have access of data. Um, you also got the username; it's replaced it in a wildcard into your routes, so you can get get access easily with params and inject it with ES6 directly into the route, getting from the API. It's just only two lines. With these two lines, I'm connecting to an API, and I can display data. It's fetched automatically. So I think if you try to do it without Next, we, you have way much time. So we try to simplify uh, and make it more easy for this to, to fetch all your data. So I think we did it, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that, and um, I will give you on Twitter the source code link, and you can have more time to check out the source code and uh, the explanation and the demo. Um, the good surprise during the last month was all these projects who pop up from uh, the community and using uh, Next. We didn't expect that, and it was really great. Uh, like um, Gerard said yesterday, guys who talked to me and pay me some beers, was explaining that they have built an um, e-commerce uh, platform builder with Next. And they got clients who sell two million in only one week using the Next project and with no issue. So let's showcase. Uh, we got a web platform for building uh, multi-language uh, business chatbots called uh, Cynic, Cynitic. Sorry. And we also got uh, Gamevix.com. Uh, all these does with, with server-side rendering. This one this does, uh, does uh, with choose Beautify and Next.js. Uh, Koala is an uh, e-commerce uh, website. Uh, we're selling uh, some uh, mattress and things like that. <laughs> but uh, that's great to see that an e-commerce website is built fully with Next.js, so with view, node, and it's stable and gets really good feedback from the team. Uh, we also got our first sponsor on Open Collective. Thanks to type.io, who also used Next for his solution as an API-first CMS. That's a really great step forward for us and uh, to keep going uh, our project and the motivation. Uh, the team has adopted also the Next project with uh, the conf.viewgs.org website for the viewconf last year, for example in Poland, but also for the newsletter and the news website. So all these projects have been done with uh, Next. Um, <clears throat> so in conclusion, it was 
I would like to show you more in details, and uh, I think you, you want to see more too, but <laughs> don't have so much time, so I'm free to reply for your question on Twitter or just here, meet and share a, a coffee this time, not to be here, please, <laughs> with my brother, and <laughs> share your ID and just discuss and uh, speak with people in real, it's really enjoyable and I really appreciate. Um, it was a tough year. I'm really proud about the job done by all the team and all the guys who are supporting us. It was an amazing year building this project. We didn't expect that with my brother when we started more than one year ago. I want to thank everyone for supporting us and uh, thanks to the organization for this great event. And one more thing about my uh, Switchers. Uh, it was about a joke at uh, a place one time with uh, Gerard. We did an interview, and it was like, oh, you know, we can do a lot of joke with your name, nuts, the nuts, and we can do things like don't touch my nuts or things like that. I was like, oh, okay, I think it's maybe too crazy. So finally, we did this sentence, and I'm going to ask you, are you nuts too? So thank you. Woo. Uh, Awesome. Well, we have some, uh, I think we have some extra minutes. Yeah. If you are happy to answer some questions yeah, from uh, the audience. So anyone has any question for Alex? <coughs> Raise your hand anything? and I'll uh, run up to you. Nobody's interested in Knox. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll come. Excellent. Uh, hello. Hi. Do you have any experience implementing Nuxt with uh, like Apollo GraphQL? Uh, is that do they play together well, or are there issues there? Like I saw you were saying Vuex is optional, so I guess optionally you could use the, uh, Apollo for local data storage and things. Yeah, uh, we got that's a great question. We got a lot of issues in the beginning before the V1 with uh, with that with Apollo, uh, but there is a great contributor who made a module with Apollo. You can find it on the Next Community uh, repo, repository on GitHub. And uh, yeah, I think uh, now it's completely fixed, uh, if I remember well, since uh, we launched a V1.2, something like that. And uh, yeah, so I think you can check out the, the documentation on this uh, GitHub repository. There is a module for that, and uh, the guy who made it uh, is uh, really great, and. Uh, can uh, ask him some question. Any other questions? Raise your hand, I'll run. Oh, yeah. Hi. Will this play Hi. nicely together with the few CLI? Sorry? Will this play nicely together with the few CLI? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, <laughs> uh, you can uh, use it with view CLI, of course. Uh, and, um, we are still have to work to do about it because uh, we got some improvements uh, in the future with the new version. We have, like I explained, the core project, uh, core of functions in the project uh, depends on every dependency we get with Next. So we get the dependency with Vue. So every time Vue has a new release, we have to update our code and fi fix it. So it's the same for Vue CLI and it was the same for Webpack. Webpack 4 is, is coming, so we have a lot of work to do. So with few CLI, we want to create like a, um, a create Nux app to replace Vue CLI. Uh, but at the end, I think we're going to work more on that, uh, but all the integration with this uh, Vue CLI to make it work easier. I hope it's good. Okay. <laughs> more? More questions? I'm, uh, we still have uh, some time left. Oh, I see a hand. Yeah. I'll we'll pass the mic. Uh. Uh, can you pass this mic on, please, to that person over there? Uh, hi, we're using Knaxon production, and I have one question. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. We're here, I know. So the question is uh, why you cut uh, meta from the view router? It's very important for us, really, to see. Because we have a data which we won't provide through uh, the view router and meta. Yeah, and like you say, the meta keys into the view router? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, we got it. 
now in the new version, uh, but it's, not, very fine, it's not on the documentation, sorry. Ah, okay, that's very fine. So I, I will provide to my team. It's my uh, really it's a huge bad. problem for us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, in the back, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I saw somebody uh, first, and then I'll come back to you. Oh, 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 uh oh, his brother is going to say something. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Sebastian. <laughs> How uh, are you? <laughs> can you show us just dot uh, next slash router dot js so people can see uh, what's yeah. happening in the hood? Yeah, true. I Thank forgot you. it. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, after the build time, uh, Nux generates the project under this uh, folder, the dots next folder. And if we go for it, you can see it's like when I explained before. At the end, Nux generates your view SSL project. But if you want to stop using Nux, you can do it with using just this folder. This folder is generated, so in fact, you ca could write it yourself. It's something kind of hidden in the documentation, but at the end, the router, it's the same as you can write it. We just generate it, and you get the code splitting and all the stuff. You can write yourself. So that was the view of this router. Thank you. Okay, there was one more question here again uh, from the same sir. Here we go. Uh, what, what was that sports site that you said is using Vutify? It was. Uh, wait a second. This one? It's for game. It's for game si website, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's sports game in this case. It was uh, the category I selected. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a game, uh, game shop website, uh, and uh, yeah, it's with Vutify.js and Next.js. OK, thank you. Um, yeah, we have time for one more question, and then uh, we're going to go over to the next speaker. Um, can you help me get the microphone there, please? Well, thanks a lot for your work. It's awesome, really. Nux is great. Thank uh, you. I would like to ask, uh, what about uh, generate static option? How is it going? Uh, it's going well. It works well. We got uh, this uh, new um, functionality called uh, the fallback. So now, when you generate your project, if you want to um, get it uh, like in SPA mode, so it will generate only the index.html file, not the other file. And if you go to a route like, for example, slash uh, project in Amsterdam into your website, you, we got this fallback who going to render the good router components, even if it's on the index.html file. But it's going well. We get more options like um, file system option if you want to generate with under subfolders. Uh, like uh, name folder, index.html, or, or some of CDN prefer like the name.html instead of the name folder uh, inside index.html. That's, yeah, I think. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh Alex, uh, give a warm welcome, or well, welcome already, a warm applause. Thank We're going to go move to the next speaker. Thank you. Thank you.